Um, hello, my name is Angela Wajardo, as said. Um, my presentation about numbers over knowledge is about how time, grades, money, all that stuff is deemed more um, important, as in ACT scores, scores, grades, A's, B's, C's, and D's, people in colleges view that as more important. Colleges look for if you can make a certain grade on a certain test, standardized testing, you can come there. Why? To make them feel good? To make it seem like you have to reach a certain level to be coming to school to learn their education. Education has no value. You can learn education anywhere, so why put a requirement on how you can enter that school? Schools and colleges today. Um, schools and colleges today, as a senior, you're looking at where you want to go for the future. You're still in high school. You're finishing your classes, last a little bit. But you're looking at how colleges are going to let you in, what states you have to test, what grades you have to finish at the end of the semester, end of the year. You're looking at what can you do, what can you make, so you can get to where you want to go for your future. You're looking at why you have to get there, why you have to reach a certain level, so you can further your education, so you can live your life, so you can have a certain amount of knowledge. Content taught today, it's content taught today, you sit in a classroom, English, math, sciences, but you really sit there and what really spikes your interest is math, you may excel in math, you may excel in sciences, you may excel in English, art etc. But you are looking for what <laughs> what you are interested in, but you want to excel on everything because everyone not just looks at your GPA or classes, they're looking at your test scores. They're not caring if you excel at one subject, excel at all of them. You can excel at everyone and still take bad test scores and get not to where you're trying to go. These are some standardized tests, AT, SAT, ACT, Terra Nova, Work Keys. I've taken all these tests, but where are you trying to go with that? You take them because you have to. You can't just say, well, I, can't, I don't want to take it. You're not going to go nowhere in life. You have to take the test to go further your education, further in life, trying to get to where you're trying to go, trying to get a job. All these depend on these tests and your grades and these numbers. Clashing of grades and tests, your GPA has no, doesn't matter if you take a test. You can have a 4.0 and fail or get a low grade on any type of test. Those grades, no colleges are looking at those numbers or how you are doing personally with the education, kind of information you are learning throughout the day, throughout the year, all 12 years. And this is what happens. The grades and the tests conflict each other. No colleges are actually looking at who you are, how you are learning, how you know any of the content that is taught. For the future, I hope and I pray that some education out there, people can connect with each other, so some, the education system can change, so these numbers don't stop you from furthering yourself or reaching your goal in life. These, these scores shouldn't affect you trying to further your education as a person. You can learn anything. You can learn all types of stuff. You can excel on everything, but some scores can stop you from reaching any part of your life. And that's the conclusion of mine.